Good morning, Cherries, and welcome to this match day vlog. Well, sort of. There'll be no game day today, so I thought instead I would do some footage of me as we lead up to kickoff. We've got lineups live at seven o'clock, and I also hope to provide some in-game reaction as as we're watching. So let's see how the day plans out. Off for breakfast. Got work to do until half four, and then let's prepare for Reading and those important three points that we need. Up the cherries. A wet day on the cards again. Let's hope it's raining goals for Bournemouth. Um, so I've been stuck at home all week working from home, but essential work takes me out today. Uh, match preview last night, really, really enjoyed it. Had Tom Jordan uh, speaking on behalf of ASC Bournemouth and we also had Ben Brown from the Reading Review. Very informative, some really good points made. And when you look at Tom Jordan's lineup pick that he thinks JT will go with, it's hard to disagree with. I think we'd all like to see a back four, but there is a good chance the back three will fall back in and there is a good chance that Adam Smith will start left wing as well. So um, we'll all know come seven o'clock and we're lineups live at 7.15. So you, I hope you've joined us for that um, when this is released, but um, we'll see whatever happens, whatever the squad, whatever the lineup, let's just hope we apply ourselves pretty similar to how we did on Tuesday and we uh, have that positive attacking outlet. Three, four, three. Uh, That's just... what I think he will do, okay? Absolutely. Before everyone gets me, I wouldn't go with a three. Okay, so so three, four, three, you just think JT will go with a back three, but maybe with a positive three up top. Yeah. Oh, windy conditions. Not even lunchtime yet, and the club are already trying to get some positivity going today. So, AFC Bournemouth have just confirmed that we have signed Ben Pearson, 26 year old, on a three and a half year contract, and he'll wear the number 22 shirt. Now, whether you think it's a player we need in a position we need, what it will do is put a little bit more pressure on the likes of Lewis Cook and Jeff Lerma to maybe just perform even better than they have already. Um, he's going to want to come in, prove himself and, and, and start getting on that pitch. So, um, yeah, from what I've read, Preston think a lot of him. I think he's going to add value. He likes a strong tackle, although he looks like he's improved his disciplinary in the last year or two. Um, and rose up through Manchester United's youth team. So, he's in. Back in now and about six hours until kickoff. And I need to have something to eat because I'm hungry. But I've had a parcel. When I say I've had a parcel, it's got the wife's name on it. But I think I know what it is. Just place this here. So, a few weeks ago, my wife ordered something. For the first time in ages, I didn't get the new shirt at the start of the season due to COVID. But here it is now. Jack Wilshire. Problem is, she says I have to wait until my birthday, which is the 21st of February. Nah, nah, red in tonight, need positivity. This is gonna work a treat. So. I'm gonna wear this under another shirt I've got in which I've got about 10, just before kickoff, whoop it off, and I've got this one bringing us luck, bringing us three points. So, fed and watered, had dinner, line ups out in about 45 minutes. How you doing, boy? All right, thanks. Yeah, so um, red in tonight, eight o'clock. What are you thinking? Do we get back to winning ways tonight? We've gotta to get two on win, sure. Two on win, who scores? David Brooks. David Brooks and? Dom Solanke. Dom Solanke. And the last time that we went to Medeski, me and Omar there in a 1-0 win. So we'll take a 1-0, but I'll also take a 2-1. Get back to winning ways. Now in 45 minutes till kickoff. Can't wait. Okay, so eight o'clock kickoff. Uh, lineups have been released. And... Hmm. 
And do you know what? JT can put out whatever formation he wants. He can put out a 4-4-3, he can put out a 4-3-3, he can put a 4-4-2, whatever happens. Mark Cole makes a very good point. Let's have a fast start, move the ball quickly and create some chances. Yeah? yeah. Would, would you agree with that, Craig? Yeah, most definitely. And I think it's very, very vital that we get, you know, an early goal. And like you mentioned, Morgan, if it's not going right, we got some good players to bring off the bench if we need to. Um, even potentially a Sam Savage. You know, um, I know he dipped down the pecking order a little bit with uh, the squad of players that we got. But um, yeah, there's definitely width and depth on that bench. And uh, it's definitely with five substitutions, if something's not working, we can make a few at half time and then maybe a few 50, 60 minutes in. So yeah, really, really looking forward to it. Reading 3, Bournemouth 0. Wow, what a performance. Both teams tentative for 20 minutes. We struggle to make a decent 10 yard pass. Trying to go backwards, can't even do that. Um, and then we decide to not mark players, not decide to go for headers, don't act to rebounds, let strikers run in behind us. And two of the first goals were Simply those things. Um, basic defending that you learn at 15 years old. I'm starting to question what we actually do on the training ground. It's great images that they put out on the AFCB website. You know, effort and someone chasing down balls and blocks. And we did neither of that for pretty much every single goal. And the third one was just to let, let Jao just sit between Rico and Steve Cook, let him get the ball. Let him save up and, and send Steve Cook the wrong way. And um, yeah, poor, simply poor. Um, we, we've lost this game more than likely, but we've got to come out. JT's got to do something. Have a go, you've got nothing to lose. But this is shocking, simply shocking. Reading 3, AFC Bournemouth 1. We have seen some poor performances since December the 15th, but that tonight was an absolute disgrace in the first half. We've been pouring the ball in the Championship for a while now. Lack of tempo, lack of ambition, lack of trying to hurt teams with the ball. Um, but defensively, we didn't want to make a challenge. We weren't interested in 50-50s. The three goals we conceded, the first one, we just watched, ball watched, didn't clear the header. Second one, again, rebounds, just standing, watching Begovic just parry it away. Poor goalkeeping, but we didn't react to the second ball. 
and the third one after losing the ball in the centre of the park to let Zhao have space between Rico and Cook, collect the ball on the edge of the box, turn Cook inside out and put the ball in the back of the net um, is an absolute shambles. Yes, we were better in the second half, but firstly, it shouldn't take us to be 3-0 down to start to get going. Um, but that was always going to be the case. There was no need for Redden to express themselves at 3-0 up. They were always going to sit back and let us have the ball, so we were always going to dominate. And we were always going to have some sort of urgency about us because we were 3-0 down. Um, the club made the decision to sign to appoint Jason Tyndall, a guy that's not had any managerial experience at the top level, doesn't have a CV to be the manager. But they made the decision with the best squad in the championship to go with him. And if they sack him, that will be an absolute disgrace and a cop out. You need to stand up to this now. The top of the club needs to stand up and accept that he should be given the season. Whatever the consequences, you need to take ownership of the decision you made back in August. Those players, ultimately, you'd think would want to play Premier League football. No matter who's the manager, they're going to want to play at the top of the game. Maybe some will have offers on the table, but not every single player will have a Premier League team coming for them. There'll be enough players in there that know that Premier League football for them in their career all sits on being with Bournemouth in the Premier League. Back on the training ground then Monday, um, I suppose the positive is that Stanislas came back and scored a goal and he has been one of our best players this season. Um, and uh, hopefully, whether it's Sheffield Wednesday, give us the game. Um, I don't see us creating stuff for ourselves at the moment, but one way or another, we need to win football matches. I don't care how beautiful it looks, we just need to win. Um, a shame, a chance tonight to, to put some wrongs right after Crawley, um, and, and we've gone backwards again. But if you like this, even though it's ended the way it has, um, please like, um, continue to subscribe to the channel. We go again on Tuesday. I've seen enough tonight. Up the cherries. See you later.